This is Tiana in the foreground, an 11-year-old halfling across mirror. She was purchased a few months ago to work in the Three Gates Therapeutic Writing Program with children and adults. But when she got to her new stable, it became clear that although she had a sweet, quiet personality, she was greener than expected. She wasn't comfortable moving forward under saddle, and like many green or incompletely trained horses, was overreactive to simple stresses, like the spray bottle. I was asked to evaluate her and see if we could get her off to a better start. It became apparent pretty quickly that she needed more time to settle in, trust her handlers, and learn some basics. She's an introvert. Her default response when she's unsure or nervous is to lock up and not react or respond at all. That can make her seem deceptively calm and quiet, but if she feels pushed, and especially if she hasn't connected with her handler, she may overreact. She needed enough time with a trainer to develop some understanding and trust, and learned that listening to her handler is the best answer. Over the last two months, she and I spent 30 sessions together. She's much improved and shows a willingness to connect and learn. She's a sweet horse, naturally quiet, and wants to do the right thing. In this video, I'll comment on some of the work we did. Most of the video was taken in the last third of our time together. She's pretty good about being handled. There's no problem with her ears or head. She's a little dull picking up her feet, but is safe. And she has no problem with hoof work. Here I'm just starting to teach her to be more responsible for softening and lifting her feet when asked. I didn't do much on this, so I accept a shifting of weight on her rear foot as an acceptable starting point. Before she was purchased, she was checked out by a trainer and veterinarian who noted no f pain or physical problems. I also didn't note any problems. Like a lot of horses, when I first started working with her, she ran away from me in the pasture. But over time, she learned to let me catch her. I like a horse to have good grass-eating manners. She should keep following if I'm leading, and only stop to eat if I give the okay. Likewise, she should come back up with a light request. The same thing applies to riding. She should not stop or push through the reins to eat grass. She can eat, but only when I allow it. Here she starts to go down to eat, but responds with no fuss to a short warning from me. Because we've worked on that on the ground, and she knows the rules. We did lunging for communication and careful attention to my body language. I want that first step to be out and away onto the circle, not through my space. I'm asking her to trot over the poles and then walk. And trot. And walk. We've done more reps than I show here, and she's starting to pick up on the pattern. I don't want that, so to make sure she's listening to me, I mix it up. When she starts to trot here, I soften my body and ask her to walk instead. And she shows that she's listening closely. That habit of listening to me will carry over to the saddle and make riding calmer and safer.
We did some preliminary liberty work. The first step is to keep her attention on me. Here I'm asking you to stick with me as I pick up manure. And here I'm asking her to stick with me outside, kind of daring her to not follow me. Liberty is handy when desensitizing. She knows she can leave, so it gives her a chance to demonstrate some self-control and listen to me rather than overreacting to something she's scared of or nervous about. She's doing okay here, but is still a little tense and locked up. It's better if we get her bored with the scary thing. Here I'm asking her to put her head down in response to something that is scary or annoying or makes her nervous. She's doing okay, but could be a lot better at this. She was quite reactive to the spray bottle at first. Here at Liberty she's still obviously tense about it, but is displaying good self-control and lets me spray her. I usually saddle her at liberty too. The pad has good withers relief and a rubber backing. The saddle is a short, wide, lightweight bighorn with the horn sawed off. It's got a wide gullet and good rock and flare. Tia's had no complaints. I used two full string cinches and snug them both up so the saddle is nice and secure. And I use a 5 inch sweet iron mullen bit with big D rings and a little room for the tongue. She's probably going to be okay with most reasonable snaffle bits, or even just a rope halter, as I'm riding her with here. I usually mount from the ground, expect her to stand, and lower her head when the reins are lifted. Our first rides were short and uneventful. We pretty quickly started doing some desensitizing in the saddle, just to make that part of our routine. We rode outside too and worked on sustaining the trot, which she was tentative about doing at first. She was no different riding outside, 
quiet and responsive. She has a very smooth trot, easy to sit. I rode both posting and sitting, and she was okay with both. But we didn't canter. She's not ready. When she's totally comfortable trotting and can do calm trot, canter, trot transitions online and feels like she wants to canter under saddle and can respond to a little contact, then she'll be ready. So here she's cantering and trotting when I ask, but neither gait is calm. And she doesn't have her balance, pulling on the line a lot of the time. The nice thing is, you can see here, she consistently picks up the correct canter lead both directions. Desensitizing is a routine part of most of our sessions. I want her to expect weird things to happen and get bored with reacting to them. This is her first time riding with the sheet. You can see she gets a little unsure here, but does a good job of handling her nerves and lowers her head when I ask. As soon as the pressure is... I'll show this because I overstepped a little here. I should have done more with the ball on the ground. But she handles herself well. Spooks only as much as she needs to. And stops and lowers her head as soon as the pressure is released. We did just one session with ropes on the legs. She showed pretty usual initial responses and we didn't come back to it. This short lead trotting hindquarters disengagement was also important for her to see as routine and not punishment. It's a handy tool to use in the saddle for a horse that might intentionally threaten to buck. You can immediately drive them forward like this and say, hey, let's do this instead. It's a relatively safe way to interrupt the buck, push them forward, and ask them to work a little bit. I never had to use it on Tia. Any horse I ride, I'd like to understand lateral flexion. Bend their neck around, soften to the bridle, and keep their feet still. I did use this one time in the arena, when she got excited by a chainsaw just outside and started to scoot out from under me. I brought her around, she stopped her feet, and it was over. An almost perfect reaction on her part. We worked just a little on moving her hindquarters and on stopping and backing. She's got a start, but could get better. And of course, I tried to keep exposing her to new scary things in almost every session. You can see she's just a little unsure here, but trying not to react.
This is a great reaction from her. It would be better if she didn't react at all, but she doesn't blow up, and she tries hard to stick with me, which is what she knows I want. This is her first and only time playing polo. And she was pretty chill about it. We did fuss around a bit at the mounting block. Just making sure she knew to stand quietly no matter what odd things might be going on. Tia is sweet and quiet. She responds well to training, wants to connect and please, and handles her nervous reactions pretty well. I think she has a pretty good shot at being a good program horse. <laughs> 